Hey everyone, this is Brad Royball, and this is a demo of the Pong project, which is the final project for Unit 2. Um, I realize that when I go into some of my videos, I kind of don't show an end product, and I kind of don't give a, you know, a look at what really makes these projects into a final product, and I, I kind of just wanted to show that here for you. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the game of Pong, the idea is pretty simple. You start with a ball that's in the center, and then you have two players who are controlling paddles either on the left or the right side. Um, here you can see for the sake of the video and since I don't have anyone else with me to play the game, um, I'm pretty much just playing using um, controlling both paddles and uh, just you know kind of helping give artificial condition to win on either side. Um, some of the big points of this project for Teals in particular are um, what happens when the uh, ball hits either paddle, we want it to speed up. We want to create um, some wind conditions that uh, control what happens when players get a, a certain prescribed amount of points. Here in my game, it would be five. Um, and I'm just trying to make sure that we do not hit the side. Um, so as you can see here, of course, I have some issues with the ball moving um, too high. So I have to create some artificial conditions. But um, one thing we're going to see right here is sort of just an end condition, um, you know, when either player reaches five, which is, you know, the end condition that we want to show, you can see that um, my options pop up right here, and then I can create and start a new game by clicking new game right there, and everything resets. Um, so that is sort of just the demo of the Pong project itself. Uh, please check out, you know, parts one um, of looking at all the different checkpoints, so checkpoint one, two, and three, and uh, leave a like and a comment if uh, you have anything to give for feedback. Thank you guys very much.